Hello, I'm Edward Tart, math teacher. I have a math lesson for you which will be followed by a puzzle based on the lesson. And there is a possible reward associated with the puzzle. Here is the lesson. It's about our system of writing counting numbers, bases. We use a base 10 number system that we are familiar with. We have place values. We have first the ones place, and then since 1 times 10 is 10, we have to the left of that the tens place. 10 times 10 is 100, that's the hundreds place here. 100 times 10 is 1,000, and so we have the 1,000s place here, and so on indefinitely. This would be the 10,000s place. So if I have this number, 3824, we know what each numeral means. The 3 means 3 times 1,000, which is 3,000. The 8 means three, 8 times 100, which is 800. The 2 means 2 times 10, which is 20. And the 4 means 4 times 1, which is 4, for a total of 3,824. This base 10 system of ours is well suited to the fact that we normally have 10 fingers. If we had only 8 fingers normally, my guess is that we might use a base 8 number system. What would that be like? It might be something like this. Uh, we would still need a ones place regardless. But this would not be the tens place. It would be one times eight. It would be the eights place. And whatever numeral we put in this, in this place would tell us not how many tens we have, but how many eights we have. The next place would be eight times eight, which is 64. The 64's place. And to the left of that, 64 times 8 is 512, and so we would have the 512's place, and so on indefinitely. So, for example, we might have this base 8 number, 2, 3, 7. What does that mean? The 2 means 2 times 64, which is 128. The 3 means 3 times 8, which is 24. 128 plus 24 is 152. Plus 7 ones makes 159. So our 159, written in base 8, reads 237. To take another example, suppose we had 7-7 seven, seven as a base 8 number. What is the value of that? Well, this 7 means 7 times 8, which is 56. This 7 means 7 times 1, which is 7. 56 plus 7 is 63. Suppose we wanted one more, our 64. How would we write it in base 8? Would we put one more here, making that 7 and 8? No, we would not. We would not use the numeral 8 in base 8. Instead, to make 64, we would put a 1 in the 64's column and zeros to the end. That's how we would get from our 63 to 64 in base 8. To take another example of a different base, the base that is familiar to computers and computer programmers, base 2, also known as the binary system. What would that be like? Well, we would again have to have a ones place, and we will multiply each by 2 to get the next place to the left. So we have the 2's place, 2 times 2 is 4, that's the 4's place. 4 times 2 is 8, that's the 8's place. 8 times 2 is 16, that's the 16's place. And if I had room on the paper, what would the next one be? It would be 32. 
and so on indefinitely. So, as an example, suppose we have 1, 1, 0, 1 as a base 2 number. What does that mean to us? Well, it's easy to figure out when you have 1s. It means 8 plus 4 plus 1, which is 13. To take another example, suppose we had 1, 1, 1, 1. What would that be? It would be 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1, which is 15. Suppose we want one bigger, 16. How would we do it? Would we make this 1, 1 bigger? Would we make it a 2? No, we would not. We would not use a 2 at all in a base 2 system. Instead, to make 16, we would go to the 16's column and put a 1 in that column, and 0 is the rest of the way. That's how we would transition from our 16, from our 15, to our 16 in base 2. With that background, I have a puzzle for you. Here is a correctly worked addition problem, but it's not in base 10. That's pretty obvious. It's in a different base. The question is, as you might guess, what base is this in, and what numbers do these numbers represent? That is, what base 10 numbers do they represent? If you get the answer, go to my profile page, click on Send Message, and message me the answer. If you would like a prize, consider this. I play the piano, as is evident from my music videos. If you want a prize, send me, include your email address, and I will send you an audio file of a piano selection that I will play just for you. If you're not sure whether you want the prize, you can click at the bottom of this video and watch one or more of my music videos. In any event, if you work on this puzzle, I hope that it will give you pleasure. Thank you for watching this video.